Hey guys, welcome to Motoroids. My name is Vipul and today's video is a little special because we finally have the Ola scooter with us. This in particular is the S1 Pro, which is the top of the line model of the scooter. And we have this in this beautiful Neo Mint color and it looks really nice. You will also see us riding another scooter and that color is the Midnight Blue, which is a matte finish color. And this one right here has a glossy uh, feel to it. So there are a total of 10 colors and it's a mix of matte and glossy finishes. So you can choose from whatever color you like. Now let's talk about this scooter now. We have ridden the scooter for quite some time and yes, we have played around and tinkered around with all the modes that the scooter has, all the features that the scooter has. So watch this video till the end to get a rundown on all the features and all the modes that the scooter has, how the scooter drives, everything we're going to let you know in this video. Before we go ahead, subscribe to Motoroids if you haven't already. And if you do find value to this video, do hit that like button. Also, do not forget to press the bell notification to get notified whenever we upload our next video. Now, let's start with the design of the S1 Pro. Now, the S1 and the S1 Pro have pretty much everything in common in terms of design. The only differences are will be in some of the features that we will let you know at the end of the video and the battery capacity. Now, starting with the design itself, overall, the scooter is a very good looking scooter. The design is very smart, very clean design. There are no parts protruding from anywhere. Even the footrests are very plush into the body of the scooter. All in all, Ola has done a very good job with the design and how the scooter looks. Now let's start with the headlamps itself. Now these are headlamps that you might have not seen on any other scooter. You get these twin projector headlamps. One is for the low beam and the second one is for the high beam. So if you're riding on a low beam, only one light will come on. If you switch to the high beam, both the lights will come on. And, and this is surrounded by a nice DRL. We'll light it up and show you. Now uh, the entire light setup of the scooter is LED. You have LED DRLs, you have LED headlamps, even the turn indicators, the tail lamps and the indicators on the rear are all LED. So it is a pretty futuristic scooter with all the features that you can expect in a scooter at this price point. Here you get the Ola branding and even the front is pretty clean. There are no stickers, no unwanted, you know, parts. It's a pretty clean design. Also, you get a monoshock here for the front wheel also. And I was surprised by the suspension and handling uh, of the scooter because it was a mono suspension and it was really, really fun to ride. The ride and handling of the scooter is very good. I'll speak more on that a little bit later. Now, on the wheels itself, these are alloy wheels and you get nice chunky white tires. These are 110 by 70 section tires, which offer ample grip on the road, even when you are doing high speeds. The rear tire, like the front, is a 110 by 70 section white tire. It looks really nice, complements the entire design of the scooter. And this also gets disc brakes. Now look at the indicators. They have also been integrated into the body of the scooter. There are no protrusions whatsoever and they look really nice when they are lit up. And uh, a good thing is that both the wheels come with disc brake. So you get enough stopping power as well because this is a very powerful scooter. Now the side also, as I mentioned earlier, is pretty clean. You have this nice crease line here, which flows along to the rear. And again, there is nothing protruding out. It's a very nice design, very clean design. Even the footrest, it comes out very easily, goes back and sits in its place. And it's plush with the body of the scooter. This black part that you see is to is like a protection for the motor. The motor is right here behind this black part and the battery has been installed right here in this panel. Now there is ample space to keep your feet if you want to keep your feet right here till here. If you want to ride, you're going long distances and you, you want to ride in a relaxed posture, you can just put your feet up here and ride easily. 
Now the footboard is also pretty spacious and you can plant your feet very well. Now there is no, it's not flat. So storing like a gas cylinder or something would not be possible on this. But yes, you can obviously store your shopping bags very easily. You get a nice hook to, you know, hang your bags. Right here, you get a USB charging cable to charge your phone. There is also a smart pocket here where you can throw your phone in. Now, if you're wondering what this is, this in fact is a speaker and you don't get one but two of those on either side of the scooter and these speakers will act as your horn your uh, it will also act as a beeper for your turn indicators and uh, in future when ola gives an update you will also be able to listen to music through these speakers an additional uh, feature on the speakers is that uh, in an upcoming update, once the scooter deliveries actually will begin, you will also be able to get custom sounds from this scooter. So depending on the mode that you're riding in, you can choose what sound the scooter makes. However, there is no hook here to attach your bag. So if this was added, it would have been good. But yes, this, this hook right here is missing. Now, if you see on this side, the side stand itself also is pretty plush into the body and you get just this protruding here to, you know, easily put the side stand down and you can just park your scooter. Now, let's move on to the back and see how the scooter looks at the back. Now, the whole uh, back light area is one single piece. You get the tail lights right here. These are the turn indicators and you get a small reflector and number plate will come right here. This is the charging port. So you don't need any keys or any uh, button to open it. You just push it and the flap will come out and you can just take this out and plug in to your charging station. You also get these nice grab rails, which are pretty good to hold and the seat itself is pretty wide. Now the seat at the front is contoured. It's because of the height of the scooter, it's 795 mm. So even shorter riders, if they're sitting, you know, a leaning a little front, they can easily put their feet down. That's the reason the contouring is like this. Otherwise, if you see from here, the seat is pretty wide and comfortable. Now, since there is a wide seat, uh, there is also a big boot. So uh, you need to keep the scooter on. There is a button right here, which you need to press and the boot will open. And as you can see, there are two full size helmets in this boot. Now this is a big 36 liter boot space and it can hold two medium sized half faced helmets very easily. I think it can even fit one full sized helmet right here. And along with some stuff, maybe the your riding gear and also the portable charger that will come equipped with the bike. Now, talking about the seating position, the seat height is about 790 millimeters and I am 5'9 and my feet are flat. Both my feet, in fact, are flat on the ground. So it's going to be very easy for shorter riders also to ride this scooter. So I think people with the height of about five Five feet should be they can ride the scooter very easily now the scooter is not very heavy as well so it's going to be very easy especially for female riders to ride it it weighs comes in at 125 kilograms the s1 is lighter it comes in at 121 kilograms because of the smaller battery pack so it's going to be very easy you know for take the scooter in and out out of tight parking spaces you also have the reverse mode to you know take the scooter back from out of a parking space. Now let's talk about the mid panel, the part that you will be looking at the most. Before that, I just want to touch up on the mirrors. You get these two nice mirrors. They are very wide and they give a very good view of the road behind you, what's happening behind. It's a very good view. Also, the handles are pretty nice to hold. They're comfortable. The levers, both the brake levers are within reach and even short people can you know apply brakes very easily so yes and let's talk about the buttons and other controls on the scooter 
everything the fit and finish on the scooter is top notch even the buttons now these are rubber buttons and they have a nice tactile feel to them this right here is the power on off switch this button right here is for answering calls this is to reject calls and once you pair your phone with the bluetooth you can also you know control your music using this button on the left hand side this is your high beam and low beam switch your turn indicators you can even cancel the turn by hitting the same button again while the indicator is on and this is the horn this button right here is a for reverse and cruise control now i'll show you how the reverse works so first of all we need to take the scooter up and out of the side stand now mind you whenever the side stand is on the scooter will not start that is a safety feature and to start the scooter you'll just have to press the brake and the power button and the scooter will be on now unlike other electric scooters which also have reverse mode uh, this scooter has a different functionality now firstly you'll have to press the reverse button it will show you that the bike is now in reverse mode now instead of uh, pushing the throttle towards you you have to push it downwards and then the scooter will go in reverse now this is a nice large display right here which is pretty bright even in daylight now this will show you your speed in kilometers per hour you also have the option to pair your phone it gives you the range right here and the battery status right here this is the light indicator so like this is low beam and high beam it will show both here you have the mode indicator right now the scooter is in normal mode you can switch modes using this button right here and you can put it in sport mode you can also see that the range goes down as you in keep increasing the modes now the s1 pro also has the hyper mode and if you see the range has gone down again so the hyper mode will give you the most power and the most uh, speed we did a 0 to 60 run and it was close to 3.1 3.2 seconds in our run and it goes pretty fast uh, we could not do a top speed run but the claim top speed is 115 kmph all right you also have uh, the time indicator right here and the bluetooth pairing status right here now there are different screens on this panel so you just swipe this is your navigation so you can just punch in any destination you want to go to and it will start navigation for you so this is uh, in partnership with map my india and yeah you can use this for your navigation purposes here you will have once you pair your phone uh, with bluetooth and you get all the music controls here is where you can control your music from the next screen gives the status of the scooter so uh, the battery percentage right now is 72 percent the screen is at maximum brightness so you can just use this toggle to increase and decrease the brightness it will also show you the range that you will get in all the three modes right here so it says normal 111 sports 90 hyper 70 um, it will also give you the latest riding stats average speed and your top speed this is from the time you switch the scooter on and then put it back off so once you put it back off all of this will be reset there's also a service support button so in case of an emergency you need any kind of support you can just call this toll free number right here now you also have sound settings for your uh, ringer volume so when your phone is connected you will hear the phone ringing from these speakers and uh, this is the volume for all the other controls as well so your horn uh, the indicator beeper the reverse alarm everything the volume can be controlled from right here display settings you can keep it in light mode or dark mode based on your preferences so we, we personally like it in dark mode everything looks really nice and then you have the about section which will give you all the status of the scooter the name of the scooter distance travel here you'll have the purchase date when you buy the scooter it will also give you the software version 
you will also keep getting over the air updates because the scooter is connected uh, through a geo sim uh, bluetooth address is the for your connection to the bluetooth device and you can also connect the scooter to your home wi-fi or office wi-fi to download over the air updates and finally you have the system update so whenever the update comes in you can just hit this button if there you see that there is a software update available you can download the software update and the scooter will be up to date now the touch response on this screen is really good as you can see i'm easily you know navigating through the various screens that are there and it's pretty sharp now we are in daylight it's 5 20 pm and it's still pretty visible even in sunlight it's very nicely uh, visible uh, even in harsh sunlight so there are no complaints on the display right here it's very good everything looks really nice and it does not look like a cheap display at all it is a very high-end screen it might not be hd but it is pretty sharp talking about the dimensions of the scooter the overall length of the S1 and the S1 Pro both is 1859 millimeters, width is 712 millimeters, and the wheelbase is 1359 millimeters. The ground clearance is also decent enough for a scooter at 165 millimeters. So, if you are concerned about the battery being hit by bad roads or bigger speed bumps, you need not worry, it's a pretty decent ground clearance. Now, in terms of performance in all the three modes, I would say the Ola S1 Pro is pretty, pretty impressive. Now, we have not ridden the S1, so we don't know how the performance is there on that scooter. But uh, talking about the S1 Pro alone, the performance is pretty good in all the three modes. Even the normal mode has enough power and torque on offer to give you a good, pleasant ride in the city. If you feel like going fast on the highways the scooter will do top speeds of 100 kilometers plus easily in the hyper mode but mind you the range is going to come down considerably in terms of riding also the riding dynamics of the scooter are pretty good you know it's very confidence in, uh, inspiring you do not feel like you are riding a cheap toy kind of a scooter it is a very good scooter and can go up against some of the highly uh, sold petrol power scooter as well it is not very heavy it weighs in at about 125 kgs but still the ride is pretty confidence inspiring the tires are grippy the suspension is also very nice and you know it's a very comfortable scooter to be on and doing a distances about 50 to 60 kilometers per day will be a breeze on the scooter so this is mostly going to be used by commuters not for long rides and it does fit the bill for people who are looking for a scooter, uh, for an electric scooter, which will, you know, cater to their day-to-day -day needs for the city commutes to office, to work, to college as well. And yeah, in my opinion, it's a very good all-around product. It has all the latest features. It has over-the-air updates. So, you know, Ola is going to keep updating the scooter time and again and, you know, they will keep introducing new features to the scooter as well. In uh, terms of speed, the Ola S1 will top off at 90 km per hour, whereas the Ola S1 Pro will top off at 115 kmph. The range on the S1 is 121 km, while the claimed range on the S1 Pro is 181 km. Now, obviously, we were not able to test this. However, we will be getting the scooter for a longer duration, and that's when we'll do all these tests. The Ola S1 comes with two riding modes, normal and sports, while the S1 Pro will come with normal sports and the hyper mode. In terms of power, both the scooters put out 11 PS of peak power and 58 Newton meters of torque, which is a good amount of torque for a scooter of this size. Given the shorter handle, the turning radius is also pretty small and it is going to be very easy to maneuver the scooter in regular city traffic. In terms of battery capacity, the Ola S1 has a 2.98 kilowatt hour battery, while as the S1 Pro has a 3.97 kilowatt hour battery. The S1 takes four hours and 48 minutes to go from a zero to 100 full charge uh, with the regular home charger. But if you're using the Ola Network Hypercharger, 
uh, you will get a 75 kilometer range in just 18 minutes. The same goes for the S1 Pro as well in terms of hypercharge. So you get 75 kilometers range in 18 minutes, but the bigger battery will take longer to charge from your home charging station at 6 hours and 30 minutes. At the front, you get a 220 millimeters hydraulic disc and the rear has a 180 millimeters hydraulic uh, disc. In terms of safety, the scooter does miss out on ABS. However, Ola has equipped both the S1 and the S1 Pro with the combi brake system. Both the wheels are 12 inch alloy wheels. The brakes also are, are very powerful. It has a combi brake system. And when you apply the rear brake, the front brake is also applied. If you apply the front brake, a little bit of the rear brake is also applied. The stopping power of the scooter is pretty good, where you get a strong initial bite and the scooter comes to an halt almost instantaneously. Now, another smart feature that the scooter has is that if there is a scenario where there is an emergency braking and suppose uh, a kid walks you know, it's just caught if a kid or an animal is just crossing the road and you need to hit both the brakes like in, in an emergency, you hit the brakes really hard, the scooter will cut off the power and it won't move further. So it's an inbuilt safety feature, which is a really good one because it will stop the scooter from moving ahead. No way does the handle get locked in this scenario. You can maneuver the scooter to the side and like by pushing it, park it, Give it three minutes to restart and then you can get a move on. So who is the scooter for? The scooter is for a commuter who, you know, travels back and forth to work, to office, to their colleges. And, you know, someone who is looking to get out of uh, using a petrol scooter given the rising fuel prices. And they also want to contribute towards the environment. Charging the scooter is fairly easy. You can use the portable charger that is provided with the scooter to any a 5 watt outlet and from your home and you can easily charge the scooter at home of, of course there is no removable battery but as ola says that is for safety reasons also in terms of you know the ownership experience the hypercharging network will be coming up very soon in most of the cities and it's going to be done in the next few months itself Besides that, the scooter comes with a three year, 40,000 kilometer warranty for the entire scooter and a three years unlimited kilometer warranty on the battery. So it's gonna be a pretty peace of mind ownership experience. And I think you will enjoy using the scooter in your day-to-day -day commutes. Now the Ola S1, which is the entry level scooter is priced at 99,999 rupees X showroom. And the S1 Pro that we have right here, will set you back by 1,29,999 rupees X showroom. Now this is after the fame two subsidies, but the prices will differ from state to state as some of the states are giving you additional subsidies. Now the closest uh, competitor to the Ola S1 and the S1 Pro is the Aether 450 and 450X. Now in terms of power, Ola S1 and the S1 Pro are better than the Aether, which delivers eight PS of power and uh, 26 newton meters of torque whereas the s1 and the s1 pro will deliver 11 ps of power and a whopping 58 newton meters of torque in terms of uh, pricing the 450 will cost you 1.13 lakhs which is about 13,000 more than the ola s1 and the 450x will set you back by 1,32,000 which is much closer to the price of the s1 pro the only difference uh, between these scooters will be in the service and delivery experience. Now, Ola does not have any physical touch points or any dealerships of their own, nor they plan to have dealerships in the future. And everything is going to be online. So you order your scooter online, you book a test ride online, the scooter comes to your home, you can ride it, test it, and then decide if you want to buy one. Now, in case something goes wrong with the scooter, you just have to uh, go to the Ola app and you need to let them know what your issue is. A technician will come to your home and get the scooter fixed on the same day at your home itself. Ola tells us that most of the issues can be fixed at home. If there is a major issue, they will 
tow the scooter to the nearest workshop, get it fixed and get it back for you. Now that being said, let us know in the comments what do you think about the Ola S1 Pro. Uh, we know that there have been some questions being asked about the deliveries of the scooter, but what we have been told is the test rides for the scooters are going to start very soon, as soon as 10th of November, and the deliveries are going to be starting very soon as well. So uh, that's about the Ola S1 Pro. Uh, let us know what do you think about the scooter in the comments. And if you like the video, if you found this video informative and useful, hit the like button, subscribe to Motoroids and press the bell icon to get notified for our future videos. That being said, this is Vipul signing off. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, rev hard, rev free and ride safe.